Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the GPRC Pulsar LR10 frame. In this quick video I'm going to assemble the frame and go over its features and specs and in an upcoming video I'm going to feature it in a build and flight video along with the Timotor Velox V3115 900 kV motors and the Timotor F55 Pro 3 4-in-1 ESC. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you can find some stickers, two 20mm wide, 250mm long battery velcro straps, the assembly diagram, all the carbon fiber parts, two anti-skid battery rubber pads, a bag with labeled standoffs, screws, nuts and hex key drivers which are needed for assembling the frame, and 3D printed TPU parts that will enable you to mount an action camera on the top plate, secure the FPV camera to the side plates, and secure the antennas of the radio receiver and VTX along with a GPS unit on the back side of the drone. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and I'll see you in a bit in order to check the results. Now as you can see, the frame is fully assembled. In terms of features and specs, the wheelbase of the frame is 435mm and it features a dead cat pattern, so the propellers are not going to appear in your FPV feed. The thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 7mm, the thickness of the bottom, middle and top plates is 3mm, the distance between the middle and top plates is 25mm, the distance between the bottom plate and the top one is 35.5 mm. On the top plate you can mount up to 25 cm long batteries. The frame supports 30.5 by 30.5 mm stacks. On the back side of the frame you can find plenty of M2 and M3 mounting holes for mounting your video transmitter. Using the provided 3D printed TPU parts, the frame supports both 19 and 20 mm wide FPV cameras. In addition, the frame comes with a bottom lip protector. The action camera mount is secured to the top side of the frame using a carbon fiber part. The frame supports motors with a mounting pattern of between 16 to 19 by 19 mm. And the weight of the frame, including the 3D printed TPU parts without the action camera mount, is 518.5 grams, and including it, it weighs 537.5 grams. As for the structure of the frame, as far as I can tell, the arms are properly secured in their position, and it's a good thing that the frame features a central backbone as it makes sure that the arms are properly locked in their position, which in turn is going to reduce vibrations in the flight and makes the tuning procedure easier. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick overview video of the Gepper C Pulsar LR10 frame. As I've mentioned earlier, I'm going to feature it in a build and flight video, so it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to perform. And overall, it looks like a pretty interesting frame, and the only downside that I can find is that it doesn't come with 3D printed TPU parts for mounting the O3 unit. Of course, it's not necessary as you can use the mounting holes, but using a 3D printed TPU mount for the O3 unit makes things easier, especially if you want to move the O3 unit around. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.